Hi foodies, some years ago I went to Trinidad and I heard about this delicious street food called Bake and Shark. It's a sandwich with fish and then some fried dough as the bread. I never got to try it, but I have heard of all the components and so my lunch was inspired by this delicious sandwich. Let's get into it. So guys, I'm not using shark today. I'm using fresh cod, okay? So all I'm going to do is cut it into bite-sized pieces. If you want to cut it smaller or larger, you definitely can. Now, although the sandwich has some nice condiments, I'm going to make sure the fish is seasoned well. I'm going to be using a combination of things. I have some paprika, fish seasoning, salt and pepper, onion powder, and some garlic powder. And then here I have green seasoning. This is a blend of scallion, thyme, garlic, and some other good stuff. And then I have two kinds of hot sauces. After you've rubbed all of that seasoning into the fish, you can marinate it overnight or for about an hour before cooking. Now let's make some garlic sauce. I have honey mustard, sugar, hot sauce, lemon zest, and garlic. Of course, some lemon juice, and then I'm going to add the mayo. So it's kind of like a spicy garlic sauce or spicy garlic mayo. And guys, this is the hot sauce that I used in the spicy garlic sauce. Once everything is mixed together, just refrigerate until you're ready to use it. Now, another popular condiment that's used on bacon shark is shadow benny sauce. I couldn't find the actual shadow benny plant. So I'm using a regular cilantro. It's not as pungent, but it's still going to be flavorful. So this isn't the authentic shadow benny sauce, but it's definitely a good substitute. To give this some heat, I'm going to be using scotch bonnet sauce, but you could use fresh scotch bonnet if you have it. So just refrigerate this until you are ready to use it. Now guys, for the coleslaw, I already have videos here on my channel, you know, showing how I do my coleslaw. 
and I even have a video showing how I shred cabbage, another one um, about how I slice my carrots. So all those will be in the description below. I'm just giving you a quick um, peek at how I would shred it. You can use a vegetable peeler or you can use a sharp knife. And then you can add whatever other veggies you like, like carrots, bell peppers, cucumbers, etc. Now instead of regular old bread, we're using a bake for the sandwich. So this is the bake dough that I prepared. And I do have a video here on the channel showing you exactly how I make bakes. So for those of you who haven't seen the bakes video yet, all I'm going to be doing is rolling these in balls. Then I'm going to let them rest again so they can be easy to flatten because each of these is going to be a bake. Okay, so after they've rested, they're nice and soft. I just flatten these circles and then this is what we're going to fry up in the oil. And of course, I'm doing circles today, but your bakes could be whatever shape you want, okay? So the oil is hot. Just lay the circle right in there. And then you're just going to spoon the oil all over and allow it to puff up. Once the underside is getting golden, then you're going to flip it and keep basting until the whole thing is golden brown. Once all the bakes are fried, you can put them on paper towels or cooling rack and then we'll fry the fish. Today I'm using flour and cornstarch, but you can use just flour if you prefer. And then I added a little seasoning as well. So we're pouring in some egg and water. And then we're just going to mix that into the fish and coat the fish. Once these are good to go, we just fry them up in oil. You can use your deep fryer or you could use a pot. I'd say about six to eight minutes is good depending on how small you cut the fish pieces. And here they are. They are just golden and gorgeous. They were so flavorful because of that seasoning that we used. So everything's ready. We have the fish, the bakes and our condiments right here. There is a video on my channel for the tamarind sauce, okay? And then, of course, coleslaw. So now all you need to do is slice the bake and then fill it up with all that good stuff. Now, guys, I know you might be looking at this and you're thinking it's a lot of steps. It's a lot of ingredients. But my advice to you is to start making the trimmings and the condiments 
a few days before you actually want to eat the bacon shark okay so if you make all your condiments like two days before or a day before then on the day that you want to eat the actual sandwich all you would be doing is frying the fish and the bakes Now guys, words cannot express how absolutely delicious this fish sandwich is. It isn't the exact same as a traditional shark and bake or bacon shark, but it tasted so good because you have that tamarind sauce, you have a little heat, you have the crunchiness from the fish, the, the vegetables, it's just, it's perfection. Now the next day, I just warmed up another bake and some leftover fish in the air fryer and I made myself another sandwich and it was just as amazing. Give this a try guys, I know you're gonna love it. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.